Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to chart a direct line of descent in Family Tree Maker 2011. To start out, you'll want to be on the People Workspace and the Family View so that you've got this pedigree chart. And then simply navigate on this chart to the end node in the tree, the farthest back ancestor that you want to select. So in this example, we'll do a patrilineal line. So I'm going to follow, al follow along my father's line out to the end node. And you can tell the end node because this triangle at the end when you get to it will not be filled in green. So that means there's no one beyond Thomas Sayer in this particular database. Like this one is green, that means there's another person beyond James Lewis Dexter. So I've got this end node in the Sayer line selected. And you can see right here that that's the person that's selected. Now that we have Thomas Sayer selected, we can go up to the Publish Workspace and then select the Relationship Chart right here. And click the button to create the chart. Now you can set the title of the chart if you want to change it here. But what you'll see is that it shows the relation from the home person, which in this case is me, and the relation to the person we had selected back on that pedigree view and the family view of the person people workspace. And so the connection from Thomas Sayer down through the Sayers to me. And for each of them, it indicates what the relationship is. Now one of the things that you may want to do in here is to change the the person at the bottom who that who that uh, subject Thomas Sayer is linked to for instance uh, say I wanted a chart that showed the connection from that farthest back Sayer uh, male to my son so they, I would just click on that little uh, file icon folder icon and enter in the name of my son and then click OK so Logan say, Logan J Sayer is right here if I click OK then we'll see down at the bottom it goes through me down to my son. From that point, you could either print it or uh, share that in some other way, either email it as a PDF, for, for example, or export it to a PDF or some other file format that's appropriate. 